A tense 24 hours for Carborough police and first responders as they worked overnight and through the afternoon to end a standoff with an armed man. Police actually used tear gas to end that standoff just a couple of hours ago, about a day after the ordeal started. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is live near the intersection of Main Street and Jones Ferry Road. And Derek, this was a pretty tough ordeal for people living nearby. Yeah, Marius Felicia, this standoff ended with no injuries and a man in custody. Now, this ended around 4 o'clock this afternoon when police shot tear gas into the home. I've learned Carborough police showed up at this man's house on Laurel Avenue around 4 Wednesday afternoon for an involuntary committal on a mental health check. The man would not come out. During those 24 hours, police found out the man was armed. They turned off the power in the area, blocked off nearby air roads, and made neighbors leave their homes. I know that there were a couple of families that we evacuated from a neighboring homes. Um, police did set them up with a hotel room. So um, hopefully they'll be able to enter uh, the area soon. Now, right now, we do not know the name or age of that man. I'll be working to get that information for you. We'll keep you updated on air and online at CBS17.com. Live in Carborough, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS17 News. Derek,